Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video. So I'm gonna share my worst home decor purchase that I ever made was my sectional, my Athens section. Well, it was two of them, but my Athens sectional sofa. So I'm gonna share a little story with you guys and then I'm gonna tell you what I've learned so you can learn from my mistake as well. So let's jump into this. Uh, home buying experience, the worst, this nightmare. Okay, guys, so um, when we moved into this apartment, I threw all of my old uh, furniture away. Everything, my sofa, my side tables, everything. I wanted a fresh start. So I told myself I'm going to take my time, do my due diligence, do my homework, and get a nice couch. So let's fast forward one year because um i did my research they said you know if you're gonna buy a sofa make sure it's quality sir uh make sure it's quality it's a quality sofa that's what i meant to say <laughs> so i did that i did my research and i finally settled on a sectional i said you know what i want a sectional because in my other in my other apartment my other furniture was you know a love seed and a and a sofa so I said you know what I'm gonna go with a sectional this time because I wanted something that's like family friendly you know for the kids it's big enough sturdy enough to um, you know keep up with my family so fast forward one year I purchased technically I purchased two sofas because the first sofa was I forgot the name of it, but it's an American signature sofa. I'm gonna try to put up a picture of it. I don't think they make it anymore, it's discontinued. But that was the first sofa, not, it wasn't even a sofa, sorry. It's the first sectional that I purchased. Uh, when I went to American Signature, because I didn't want to go to Rooms to Go, because I heard all these bad reviews of Rooms to Go and Ashley and, you know, and all those other furniture stores but I didn't know American Signature was almost the same thing so anyways so I went to American Signature and there was my sofa I saw it it was like this nice cream like a beige gray sofa it was so pretty it had like the most gorgeous cushions I was like that's it that's the sofa okay so ordered the sofa come to find out I it, it it came up to a total of what? 3400 with the delivery and the five year warranty. Because they said if you're gonna purchase the sofa, make sure you purchase the five year pure promise warranty. I was like, okay, good idea. Now, that's like the best decision I ever made or the best thing I ever did was to purchase that warranty outside of the sofa. So anyway, purchased the sofa. It showed up like a couple of weeks later because they have to ship it all the way from Georgia. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So showed up and then when the sofa showed up, I didn't expect it to be that big. It was a big, ginormous sectional. I don't know why I keep saying sofa. It's a sectional. Ah, so I put it in, you know, I had them deliver and put it in their apartment. I'm gonna try to put up a picture. I took pictures of it, but it was a huge sofa and it was too huge for the apartment. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna send it back because I loved it. I love the color of it, I love the style, but there was um there was a recall, a manufacturer's recall on the cushions. There was some type of feather migration issue and they said um to to basically um order new cushions and that would take care of the problem because they came up with um a way to solve the feather migration issue i was like okay cool we could do that so order new cushions uh and then i eh, still still the same issue the feathers were everywhere i didn't like that about the couch so oh, yes. I went back now I remember so now I called the store and the girl was like you know what I ordered my cushions and the girl 
missed one of my cushions because it was a five piece sofa and she only gave me it was a five piece section and she only gave me four cushions and I said my fifth cushion is missing because when they deliver my my cushions I was like wait where's the fifth one because there's a corner piece so she came back and she told me there's nothing else she could do for me. And I was super pissed off. I was like, I was like, excuse me, what, the, what do you mean by that's all you could do for me? So you know, I hang up the phone, I jump in my car, and I peel my ass down to the American Signature store. Because I was like, that's some bull, you ain't going to do me like this. So I rolled up in the store and I said, where is so-and-so? I forgot her name. She's like, oh, she's gone for the day. I was like, okay, well, she ordered my cushions and she missed one. And then she's going to tell me there's nothing she could do about it. So I told him, I don't want the sectional anymore and, and that I want my money back. So they were like, you know what? Okay, pick pick a new uh, sofa section or whatever you want in the store and we'll take care of you. Because at that point, I told him, I said, I want to talk to the manager. And the manager agreed to make me happy. So I was like, okay. So that's when I decided to get the Athens sectional, which is, which was like the second one that I that I liked out of all the furniture in the store. All the other ones they were too, like you know, too small. I don't like small sof sofas or sectional. I like big furniture. So, so I picked the Athens. Again, took them like maybe a month to deliver it because they have to make it and all kind of stuff and it's in Georgia. I was like, cool. Do what you gotta do. So they took out the, the first one that I bought and they delivered to Athens. So now, you know, I was like, oh cool, I'm happy with this. It's not too big. It's not as big as the first sectional. It's a little bit smaller, but it's still, you know, a nice a good size sectional I was like okay cool so speed up to I would say six months the cushion started going flat so I said you know what since I got a warranty the warranty covers new cushions so I ordered new cushions and they delivered new cushions I was like cool my sofa looked brand new again and then as usual, you know, after a while when you sit, you use the sofa, not the sofa, when you sit and use the sectional, the cushions, you know, they get a little, you could see wear and tear. So I was like, okay, let me call them again and order some more cushions because I got warranty. I don't care. So then they tell me that my sectional has been discontinued. I was like... Oh, so I'm stuck with these flat ass cushions. Well, they're not flat, you know, they're pretty good sized cushions. I'm gonna show you guys. Okay guys, so this is the cushion. As you can see, that is a pretty big, decent size, you know. This is just a chair because it comes in five pieces. So I would call it the chair. But, you know, it's pretty big and heavy. I don't like picking it up because I ain't picking it up. It's heavy. But you get what I'm saying that, you know, these cushions are pretty, you know, a good size. Okay, so I just showed you the sofa. Try to give you guys, you know, of what is it that I had to deal with and and how big the, the you know, the cushions are. It's pretty heavy. I don't like lifting it up. It's 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 heavy. Now... I see where my money was worth it to get um, quality and you know heavy pieces because if it's heavy and sturdy and you know it's made with good quality material then it could stand the test of time and you know wear and tear but I ended up not liking my sectional due to the fact number one it had a manufacturer's recall number two they discontinued my sectional and number three, what's the point of having a warranty if I can't cash in my warranty? So, now that I have my sectional, I said, you know what? No, I don't want a sectional anymore. <laughs> no, I don't want a sectional. I actually want, you know, I want to go back to my sofa and love seat. But, it is what it is, you know, lesson learned. The only thing I would say is um, do your due diligence whenever you're purchasing, you know, a sectional sofa, sofa set. 
I told myself because everybody was like, you know, make sure if you're gonna spend like three, four thousand dollars, it's on your sectional or your sofa and not on like a whole set. Cause you know, like for three, four thousand dollars, you get like what you're gonna, you get um, you get a coffee table, you get two end tables, you get two lamps, you get you know the sectional or sofa love seat, and you get all these things in you know in a what do you call it, with a living room set. But instead, I said, you know what? I'm going to spend my money, get quality furniture, and the one thing I've learned, the next time I'm going to buy a sectional or a sofa and love seat, I'm getting it custom made, and I'm not buying a new one until I move into my house. So that's the only time I'm going to buy or spend my money or spend any, like, three four thousand dollars if I'm getting it custom made, and that's the next, that's how I'm going to go next time. So... My recommendation, if you're gonna spend three, four thousand dollars, get your sofa, sectional, whatever it is, custom made. Don't go to these, you know, big uh, company uh, furniture store because they're gonna rip you off. They're gonna put cheap material in the in the sofa, sectional, whatever it is, and make you end up paying a whole lot of money for it. So, my recommendation, get your sofa custom made. I learned my lesson so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and like my video I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope you got some good tips from it you know learn from my mistakes so you guys don't make that mistake as well I just want to help you guys so thanks for watching I'll see you on my next video